It is Tottenham 2, Manchester United 0. Manchester United losing all the three points against Tottenham Cotspurs at Tottenham Stadium. Manchester United lackluster performance, the one of the worst performances I've seen in a long time. And guess what, guys? We are still the Manchester United that have been playing horrible on the second half of the season, towards the end of the season, last season, and continue it throughout this season as well with the first game and the second game. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, that midfield of Manchester United is rubbish. I want a refund on Mason Mount because he was just nowhere near good enough. He's not good enough. I didn't even know he was playing at times. And Bruno Fernandes himself, the captain of this club, as I always say, he's dog shit. He can't play a good 90 minutes. He is not world class. He hasn't been world class. And look at that performance for Manchester United. A lot of players disappointed us, guys. I may be overreacting right now, and I'm fuming, guys. But this match especially, I don't know. This style of play that Manchester United is supposed to be playing, they just can't do it. These players just can't do it. And they never will. They never will be because there's something there. There's some kind of stigma at Manchester United that does not allow the players to play a system. The players to have the, the, the confidence. As soon as they come out, they balls it. We see all this good stuff in training. Oh, the flicks and all that kind of stuff. All the thing. But when it comes to match day, these players shelling. They're caving. This is this is a, another away game against the top nine team. And Manchester United can't get a win. Can't get it at all. Can't get nothing. I'm fuming because Manchester United let us down. Us fans again, once again. And, and this boys, this group of players are just not good enough. So many bad performances out of for everyone. But overall, let's reflect in this game, guys. Make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, and share across all social media platforms and become a member. Because your boy, Alvaro and Spice, is fuming for this game. Oh, my God. You look at the first 45 minutes. And do you know what, guys? In that first 45 minutes, Manchester United were doing so well. We was in control. No, I wouldn't say we was in control. It was a 50-50 game. There was chances that was created by Manchester United, you know, and picking up mistakes from Tottenham, Tottenham's players and trying to capitalise from it, but unable to convert it, chances. And and we should have taken them, you know. There was a there was a couple of headers that was missed. Varad as well, unable to convert his chances. And then there was the VAR incident where, to me, I thought it was a penalty. Gonacho striking it and him as well. Another terrible game, which makes me think a player like him shouldn't be starting. He should not. He's not good enough to start because every time he starts, he gives the ball away. He's been crap. He's never been impactful whenever he starts. When he comes off the bench, Garnacho is impactful. He does things. But when he starts, no. And he's not good enough. And Rashford playing up front, another reason why I said I would never like to see him play up front because he's ineffective up front, cannot hold the ball. In that first 45 minutes, he was just... Not there. Anonymous. Same as Mason Mount. And then the second half came before Spurs hit the post in that se in that first half. But the second half came. And Manchester United was even a lot worse than what they were in the first 45 minutes. Because I don't know what happened to them. The first goal coming in. And a deflection from across from one of the Spurs players. Coming off of Martinez. And for Saul to capitalise on it. And this must be a worst, one of the worst matches Martinez has ever played because he's been involved in both of the goals that we conceded today. The second goal as well, because Manchester United was continuing to play a bag of dog shit, unable to keep the ball. This retention, this, um, this possession-based football is not happening with this midfield. Mason Mount and Bruno fernandez Casemiro cannot play in midfield together. Especially Mount and Bruno, too forward at times, too far forward, leaving Casemiro... To, to himself and Mount was never there in fact I feel I believe we play with nine players because Rashford wasn't playing up front he was not doing anything can't hold the ball this match night is suffering because we can't get our strikers to start we don't have strikers playing forget Mount I forget Mart um, um, Martial he ain't good enough as soon as he comes on look at him not match fit oh we'll be all right if, he's, if we have Rashford uh, playing up front no we won't because this is the reason why. The guy is not clinical up front. He doesn't run into the right spaces. And he can't hold the ball against strong defenders. He just can't. He can't win in the air. Rashford is not a striker. He's a left winger. And but by God, Rashford, if you keep thinking about it, that you're a striker, bruv. Nah, you're smoking a lot of weed, bro. Let it go. You're a left winger. Ganacho should not be starting, guys. 
But yes, Manchester United in that second half was absolutely horrible. Ten Hag must be fuming. But then again, Ten Hag is... Why would he select the same starting eleven against the team that got ran through through Wolves and Wolves lost today? That's on the manager today. The team selection was poor, guys. The team selection was horrible. It was the wrong mistake. Certain players should have not started. But then again, who? Who would have started? Who? 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 We don't know. We certainly don't know. But I'm fuming. I'm not happy with today's game because we could have gotten up in the first 45 minutes. We could have had a goal or two up, but we didn't. We were just not good enough. Full time, 2 0. I'm disappointed. We've just lost all the, the points. Second game of the season, Tottenham won. You know, their, their, their season's really kicked off now. In terms of players, Onana in the first 45 minutes, wonderful. Just picking the pass. The distribution was great, fabulous. We're just thinking, oh, we've got a wonderful goalkeeper here. Aaron Wan Bissaka as well in that first 45 minutes was wonderful with the interceptions, the blockage, um, get recovering the ball as well, getting himself into an interesting position. But those players who did not show up today, Mason Mount, I want a refund. I want a refund from uh, from Mason Mount. Why did we spend 60 million on a player that's ineffective when you've got players like Tonali that went for less? Like, seriously, I blame the club because we can't plan properly. This was one of the worst, the worst, worst signings I've seen. For this season i'm disappointed i was underwhelmed and it will continue to be underwhelming bruno fernandez another poor performance from him two games so i don't care about that assist that he did or led to that goal for the against game against wolf but today giving the ball away doing stupid things spamming the ball like it's an internet account giving us spams and the spams ain't really reaching because no one looks at their spam accounts do they they don't look at the spam feeds they don't they don't they ignore that and again if anyone tells me that Bruno Fernandes is world class, he's not. He's never been. He's just been a bang average decent player that's got an exceptional GA record. Uh, he creates a lot of chances, but in the full 90 minutes, he just gives you individual brilliance and a lot of flaws. Anthony as well, I'm done with this guy. I want a refund on him. He's just not it. Constantly too busy beating up his misses. That's from allegedly it's from what we've been hearing. So beating a player properly, bro. You're beating the wrong thing. You are not supposed to be beating your wife. You're supposed to be beating the players, guy. You're supposed to beat the players, Anthony. Rashford, up front, anonymous. This is why he was horrible today. Like, what was he about? And you saw Rashford smashing the ground, not really happy, smashing his seat, you know, pissed off as well, which he should be, because he was horrible. Like, all our best players did not perform. Casemiro as well did not perform. Our defence, Martinez, he did not perform today. He was horrible. And our manager did not select the right team. You know, it's on him as well and on, on the players. I am so disappointed in today's game, you know. Man of the match today goes to absolutely nobody but the fans who stayed and watched this game. Donkey of the match, I'm going to have to go give it to Mason Mount and also Bruno Fernandes and also Marcus Rashford and Casemiro as well. That midfield was a stinker with Anthony and Gonacho. Gonacho was a shit player, man. He should never start again. That's the reason why. Like, he's not ready. And I don't think so. He's a star boy, but he's not ready. We've overhyped him. Hey, guys, this has been your match reaction from your boy, Ivory and Spice. You let me know what your thoughts on today's game. You, your man of the matches, you, your donkey of the matches as well. And all in the comments as well. Subscribe and smash that like button and become a member of Red United TV by pressing the membership button. All different perks as well. And as always, we're back live on Monday to digest this game with Mandem. Always remember to keep it united because I'm pissed off right now. And remember to keep it Red United. Your boy is out. Peace. Boom.